day four begins with lots more runs to the Dishettery. After clearing out so many of the barns and the old coaching house, the laundry room, we have so much rubbish to take. But luckily, with the extra pairs of hands, we get it done. And finally, it is just overwhelming having these areas cleared at last. So it's day three. No, it's not, is it? Day four. What day is it? Day four. Oh, it's, it's Tuesday. No, Wednesday. And they came on Friday. Is it Wednesday today? Yeah. It's day four of Barngate. <laughs> Katrina, say hello. Hello, everybody. I have been working this morning. Just hold that microphone. Right but the sunshine's come out, so I'm sunbathing. <laughs> What have you been doing this morning? Well, I've been doing a bit of housekeeping up and change over of bedrooms for the guests and um, washing up and helping um, design a dish for the restaurant. All sorts of things. Feeding the boys? Feeding the boys. Tend your men and <laughs> they'll look after you. Are you enjoying it? I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So. Right, let's go see what the boys are up to. Thank you very much. So, actually, what Katrina's been doing is not just feeding the boys, but giving them a whole banquet. And I just said, I hope Ted doesn't get used to this, because when they go home... Don't try anything. <laughs> right, let's see what you lot have been up to. Oh my God. Look at this. Wow. Wow. I can't really see where the floor starts and finishes. Well, this way, yeah. Um, yeah. So look, that's this is where the floor there. So that's where it's. Right here. Right. Yeah, so. Yeah, where where me and Carsten are this is where the floor is. Start. So what's happening now? So we've dug it out. You've got you're gonna you've got that little bit to go. Yeah, but I'm gonna use that little bit at the moment to drop in the mix, uh, drop in the digger, because we've got a dig out. We've now, we're now relatively level with the floor. The, the, this floor, the old floor, goes downhill. But we are level, roundabout level on that from there and there. We've measured where the green line is, the laser level. You won't be able to see it, but yeah. we've measured that and measured that side and it's around about the same. Right. So the idea now is if we are going to put whatever floor we're going to put on here, um, we need to dig down to give us um, whatever we need. You know, so we'd, we're probably going to take another um, 200, maybe 250 mil out. So after four days on the job, the boys were all getting extremely tired. They had done so much physical work. Yeah. Really, really, really should get one of these. <laughs> really, I think it's an absolute necessity <laughs> when doing this sort of work. But today was our last day with their volunteers, Tobias and Carsten. It was time for us to say goodbye to them. Yeah. Are you proud of what you've done? Extremely. Extremely. Yeah, good. Very happy. Has I'm it been very good proud working together? I'm very proud of it. I just continued the echo extremely. <laughs> <laughs> so with the boys winging their way back to Denmark, it was also time for us to say goodbye to the digger. We had only been able to have it for a couple of days and it had to go back. However, our lovely volunteers, Cole and Katrina, have paid for us to have it back next week so that we can finish this floor. 
So in the meantime, it was time for Ted to get on with another job over in the piggeries. Right, I'm in the old house and there is a lot more space than there used to be in here. But again, it's getting cluttered up. Huge piles of wood everywhere, which has been cleaned out by our wonderful volunteers. But what I've got to do is you see this pipe with a blue end on it. I've got this water pipe and that's coming all the way from the big banqueting barn, which we put in some time ago. So what I've got to do, and I know it ain't pretty and I know it ain't right, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all the way around the walls here. So I'm going to take it all the way around here. But it's going to be a long time since we can, we can do anything in here. So I'm not bothered about the water pipe running over ground and round the walls. It's the easiest way I can do it, the quickest way I can do it. And then it will eventually go through there with the electrical conduit, which is going through at the moment which we put in the other day. This goes through to the other side, to the piggery. I'm not gonna connect anything up because I have to connect it the other end, first of all. As you see, there's a lot of work to be done in here. Well, let's not dwell on that one, Ted. Just getting water into the piggeries will be another step forward. First fixed water pipe in. See, it's come through there, from the other house. I've secured it, left it long enough so I can do a joint. I need an elbow joint in there. And then there's one continuous line, which is something I had lying around, which is such a result. So it all goes into here. Where you see the pipe work for the various options. What are you up to, baby? Digging holes again. Digging holes again. Yeah, so what we're doing is, um, our water pipe comes in, this is a mains water pipe in here and uh, I've got a very kind gentleman who's come and helped me by, by the name of David who's uh, at the moment digging, again, digging holes so we can drop this pipe in a little bit further and this, this pipe here, ooh, this one here is the connection to hopefully the piggeries so we've connected into the barn, uh, into the workshop barn, um, into the old house, into the piggeries, and then with this connection to the mains here. So we've, we've got to do some jiggery um, because we've got to put a, um, a stopcock either side of that T junction that's going to come out here because I want to be able to turn the water off to that side of the property and to this side of the property if we've got a problem. So that's the, that's the task of today, should you choose to accept it. We're on with it. Get on with it, look. No, we're on with yes. it. Oh, we're on with it, we're on with it. I was saying, get on with it. I was no, thinking, no. flipping hell, I've got two, two bosses now, haven't I? Yeah, let's done it. It's alright. That's better. That's alright. That's alright. So let's open that up. Right, I'll open that up. Well, I'll tell you what, hold on. Well, there's no water coming through there. No water. No water in there. 
there, but maybe that's what it is. So where does that go to? We don't know. So I said to you before, I don't know if we teed off here into here. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. There we go. We've got water. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Right, let's go and have a look at the piggery. That's all right. Water through there. Water in there. Water. You want to come through to everywhere. I'm in the right places. Can we turn that off? So although we had water in the right places, we also had water in the wrong places. There was a leak in the old coach house. What's happening, baby? Um, of course, one of my connections was a bit dodgy. I think the pipe wasn't in so far, and I was just trying to be a little bit ambitious with my clips to try and uh, get it into position. But the, m uh, the major thing is, is we've got water coming in to here. We're good here. Last one in the piggery. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at the last one. Can you get through there now? And that's how we like to sleep in. No, that looks good to me. So, I'm just going to turn that on and make sure that's operational. And then we should... Good to go. Just to get the air out of it, I think. Whoa! Flipping hell. Hasn't blown something in there, has it? Because of the pressure. No? That's all right. Yeah, you turn that off, mate. You turn that off. Yeah. That's all right. I just was checking the one in the piggeries to see if there was anything on. Oh, no, it's not that. So we had a bit of a panic then, because all the air pressure came out, a bit of water came out, and then it stopped. And the air pressure just flew out. So he was a bit worried. We'd blown it somewhere else. But David had actually turned it back off. So um, I'm just coming over here to check now, and Ted's going to turn it on. Very exciting because it's another step forward to the piggeries. Another job ticked off the list. And this plumbing work, Ted's been procrastinating about it for so long. And I think it's just that he, he, he was just nervous. He was just very worried about it. But having somebody like David here, David does it, he knows just as much as Ted does about plumbing. But because you've got another person and you can kind of banter with each other, you can, you know, think about solutions with each other. Yeah, it helps the confidence so much. So, uh, we've done it. We've got water in the piggeries. Yes. Another job ticked off the list. What? It was running. <laughs> yeah, let's do that again, shall we? Good pressure as well, wasn't it? Well, um, yeah, once that's all the air's out. Are you happy? Well, I'm happy that nothing leaks. <laughs> and that's brilliant, so it means we've got water in the piggeries. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, another step forward. I'm pleased, I'm pleased, that's good. I'm pleased that, that I had some help. So, because two, two brains are better than one. 
I think he deserves a cup of tea. I think he does. Well what's, done, what's, baby. Oh, well, I'm well pleased. I'm well pleased. <laughs> right. So we finished the day on a high. And it just gives us a chance to reflect on what Ebb Week's been like with their volunteers here. Um, so it's, it, it's been an amazing week, hasn't it? It's been fantastic. Oh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been brilliant. Brilliant having Carsten and Tobias, Toby, two of his mates, um, and Katrina and Carl. Oh, honestly, they've just, we've just gone leaps and bounds ahead. It's, it's been absolutely fantastic. It's amazing to think, just with those extra pairs of hands, oh. how much you can actually get done. And what I loved as well is Katrina was in the kitchen and she helped with the changeovers and cleaning, but she did lunch for everyone every day. And it was just so nice, because me and Ted don't normally have lunch, no, do we? No. But it was really nice to stop and us all be sitting around the table and Katrina would serve us with their soup and their cheese sandwiches. And yeah, yeah, cheese <laughs> toast, just, she made us cheese toast. It was just oh, lovely. Fun, just, fun. It's been a really, yeah. really lovely it's time. It's an amazing thing having a housekeeper. <laughs> yeah, I think that's come back, Katrina. That's a definite, yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the horizon, maybe a long way, but yeah, housekeeper will be fantastic. But another thing to, to take into consideration is that there are so many people that are involved in this project, and it's not just us, and it's not just their patrons and their subscribers, it's not just the people that come and volunteer, but every person that stepped through this door over the weekend and had a meal with us, they've helped towards the project as well without probably even realising it because the money that we made in the kitchen over the weekend in the restaurant, that has paid for this little beauty. So even people like that that go home and don't even realise are no. involved in the project and helping us get forward with this. It's brilliant. It's brilliant and we can't thank them enough. However, we have another volunteer coming next week. Charlene is back. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So more work on the land. So yeah, yeah. come back next week more to see Charlene's week. Yeah. Brilliant. A brilliant time though. And we'll continue with the barn. Yeah, have a brilliant week. Like and subscribe and all that. Thank you so much for all your fantastic support all through the month. And don't forget, those of you that have done Buy Me a Tile for the Medieval Barn, your name's coming up next. And thank you so much for all your support. Take care. Guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. If you, like us, feel that this 700-year-old piece of world history deserves preservation for generations to come, please check out our Patreon page, where you get chance to have Zoom chats with myself and Ted, see behind-the-scenes videos, receive discounts on stays here at Chateau de Montmagne or within the restaurant, and access to our patron-only Facebook page, where you get live videos, up-to-date information and get to chat to the other patrons so join us again next time for even more blood sweat and tears we'd also like to say a special thank you to everyone that's taken part in the bias a toll campaign for the medieval barn and everyone that's made a special donation so here we go the Lindbergh family Gaynor Jones Tanya MB Melody Paula Kershaw Vicky Lee Cheryl Paul Bombardier, Sarah Jane Brook, Diana Wilson, Julie W, Laura Sheldon, Mary Ann Cornelia Blake, Mandy Hunt, Irina Maynard, Franz, Marlene, Bart, Inga, Eric Van Der Wolf, Michelle, Michelle, Leslie, Sophie, Curly Worley, <laughs> Pearl and Tony Abraham, Graham, Karen Moa Schultz, Karen Moa Schultz again, Curly <laughs> Worley again. <laughs> Bar Hanwell, Penny Fenwick. I didn't get the last name, Penny, but you know who you are, my love. Thank you, Thank you all so, so much. much.